hey Mitch, I appreciate you letting me into your home. I appreciate you taking some time to sit down with me um, and make another video for the Scottish Rite. Absolutely. You know, I, I've uh, I was introduced to you pretty much at my first first Scottish Rite meeting. I remember that you were wearing your Glengarry, and I was like, yeah, it's a pretty funny hat. You know, seems mm -hmm. like an interesting guy. And I came up, talked to you, invited me to the Knights of St. Andrew. And uh, through that, there's kind of just been this snowball effect of us getting involved with a bunch of different stuff. And it brings us here today to really the first, um, you know, dialogue style video that we've created. And we've made a couple cinematic videos for the Scottish Rite, but, but this one's going to be a little bit different. It may be you know, a little more personal. I've been in the Scottish Rite since the fall of 2015. Okay, so you've been in the Scottish Rite for a very long time. Well, five so, years. Five years, that, that's a long time. Five years is long. I've been in the Scottish Rite for a year. Yeah. Um, so I'm new in the Scottish Rite, fairly new. What are some things that you would say if a Master Mason who is not in the Scottish Rite came up to you and said, hey, I've heard about the Scottish Rite. You know, what is this? And you know, what, what reason would I have to get involved. It's more philosophical than you get in the Blue Lodge, although you want to continue your knowledge and learning within the Blue Lodge, you are with the Scottish Rite. Yeah, so when you were involved, when you first got involved with masonry, you went through your degrees, um, how long did it take for you to hear about the Scottish Rite? I mean, did you know about it before you became a mason? Was it long after you were master mason? When, when do you remember first being introduced to the Scottish Rite? Well, shortly after I became a Mason. I became a Mason in June 2015. Okay. So, very quickly after that, mm -hmm. uh, a guy I go to church with, uh, David Stafford, he was getting his, he had just got elected to the 33rd degree, and he, he asked me, he said, so are you interested in the Scottish Rite? Or I think how he put it was, when do you want to join the Scottish Rite? Hard and, close. Yeah. So, I, and I wanted to, Yeah. I just didn't necessarily know how, how much money it was, and if I could, I, I had heard that I had to be a Master Mason for so long, like six months or a certain period of time, and I wouldn't have fallen in that category, but I, I, I told him, I said, if you give me a petition and you want to vouch for me, I'll join. Mm -hmm. I was excited to grow in that aspect of things. Mm -hmm. And I, but I didn't want to grow too fast. Yeah, you get kind of bogged down by get, too much eat, information. Right, and yeah. and that is possible. I mean, even with the Scottish Rite, you're sitting there watching the degrees, and yeah, you you end you end with somebody in the thirty second degree saying you have now been invested with the royal secret. And you're like, what and you're man? like, what is the royal secret? Yeah, it's like drinking out of a fire hose. It, it's definitely drinking out of a fire hose. You yeah. just don't get it. The big thing within the Scottish Rite, the mentor program needs to be, it needs to be there, because if you don't have somebody you can go to to say, hey, I want to be involved in this, how can I do that? Because when I first became a 32nd degree Mason, I didn't know what to do. Was there a mentorship involved. program five years ago? There was. And you eat lunch with them one day, and you're told this is your mentor. And David was obviously my mentor, which he's my mentor even beyond masonry. He's my mentor uh, within the church. Yeah. Not necessarily someone that gives me all the answers, but someone that guides me and says, look here for your answer. So obviously, joining the Scottish Rite kind of threw you into a whole other world of information. D did you find that it distracted you from Blue Lodge? Joining the Scottish Rite so quickly, it didn't hurt, it helped tremendously. The things that I was looking for in masonry, now we all have our expectations. Whether we want to admit it or not, you have guys that come in, they don't really know what they're joining, and they think they're gonna get all this knowledge, and when they don't, and they're coming to meetings, and they are sitting there, and hearing people talk about eating biscuits and gravy, eating biscuits and gravy beans. how we're going to pay the water bill <laughs> yeah. and just <laughs> you're not getting anything out of it I intellectually and you're still getting the fellowship you're talking to your brethren you're still getting some of the ritual through opening and closing of the lodge yeah but scottish Rite showed me and it pretty much illustrated to me what masonry should look like 